Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rollins and this channel's all about life. We've been uploading three videos just like this one every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up external foot switches with the Boss RC10R. So you're gonna need a few things for today's tutorial. You're gonna need a balanced TRS jack. Now on this cable, it has got two rings. Now these two rings are gonna allow us to send each signal from our Boss FS6 foot switches, so the A and the B, and then we're gonna be able to send this to our Boss RC10R. So if we plug this lead into the back here where it says control one and two and expression, we plug that into here and then we're gonna plug it into the A and B on our Boss FS6. Now on the back of the Boss FS6, you wanna make sure that the polarity, the mode is set all the way to the left on both sides of the pedal because we want to run the foot switches in Boss FS5U mode, which means they're going to be momentary and they're only going to register when we click the pedal in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the menu. In the menu, we're going to scroll one to the right to where it gets to control. We're then going to click this dial in and then we're going to scroll over to the right until we get to control one function. Now it's important to note here that the A and B foot switches on our Boss FS6 are the other way around. Now don't ask me why, but Boss do this on all of the Boss loopers. So basically, control foot switch B is control one, and control foot switch A is control two. It's the other way around. Of course you'd expect foot switch A to be control one and B to be control two, but just remember, it's the other way round. That's how Boss decided to set it up. Now how I want to set this up today is, I want to scroll over to the right because I want the foot switch to control track two settings because, you know, we have all of our options here for track one. We can easily record, play and stop with the desired button here, but it's quite difficult when we're performing a track to switch between the tracks and try and stop all the loops at once. So I want foot switch B to B track to stop. So that's gonna be my stop foot switch. We're then gonna click that in and select it and we're gonna go back over here and scroll over one more to the right. So we're now gonna assign foot switch A, which is control pedal two. And I want this to be track two control. So what track two control is gonna allow us to do is it's going to allow us to record, overdub, play and undo and clear the track. It's literally gonna be this exact foot switch here, but it's gonna be assigned to our external pedal. So we're just gonna click the dial in to save that, and then we're gonna exit out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click rhythm and loop in at the same time to switch over to track two. We're then gonna click foot switch A to start recording. We're then gonna click it back to start playback. Then we can click it again to begin overdubbing, and we can even click it in for two seconds to clear our overdub. Now we could double tap to stop the loop, and then we click it once to play back, but we've assigned foot switch B to do the stop loop for us. So, there we go. That is it working. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and a subscribe. This channel's all about live looping, upload live looping tutorials, live looping performances every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturdays. I've been Ben Rollins. You can find me online at benrollinsmusic.com. If you want to learn more about live looping, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.